like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Some people live by the motto, bigger is better, and it extends to their pets, too. Over centuries, different dogs in different geographic locations have been polished by humans to play certain roles, from hunting to guardian, from herder to companion. For some of these breeds, size has been a significant player in the search for perfection, and in this video, we will be looking at the biggest ones found around the globe. Stick around until the end to find out about the biggest dog that ever lived. Commodore. The Commodore is probably probably the strangest looking dog on this list. This dog looks like a character from Scooby-Doo, but surprisingly, that character is not Scooby-Doo. That character is Shaggy, and yes, I said that because the Commodore is probably the shaggiest looking dog you'll ever see. The Commodore, also known as the Hungarian Sheepdog, is a large breed of livestock guarding dog with a long colored coat that is unlike anything you've ever seen. That's probably why this dog is sometimes referred to as the Top Dog. In in any case, the Commodore is a well-established dog breed and was brought to Europe as early as 1544 by the Cummins. In fact, the dog is so ancient that it has been declared as one of Hungary's national treasures. The Commodore, as you'd expect, is an extremely large dog and can reach heights up to 32 inches and can weigh up to 120 pounds. Newfoundland Dog The next dog on our list is quite unique. Unlike other large breeds, the Newfoundland was never bred to be a guard dog. In fact, they were specifically bred to help fishermen. These big, muscular dogs are perfectly comfortable on land as well as in water. They possess incredible strength and are able to haul nets and lines from boats, pull carts, and, most importantly, can fetch anything that falls overboard into the water, including people. The Newfoundland is an exceptional water dog and very strong swimmer. Think of them like the canine version of David Hasselhoff in Baywatch. They have made many rescues of people out at sea credited to this gentle-natured dog. Newfoundland dogs stand between 27 and 30 inches tall and weigh as much as 150 pounds. They look even bigger because of their thick double coat, which keeps them warm, even in icy water. People have found them to be perfect companions and are even great around children. The downside is large breeds like these eat quite a lot and can eat you out of house and home. Leonberger, a powerful and huge dog indeed, but the Leonberger is also known for its aristocratic nature and grace. A male can stand at the shoulder at over 31 inches and weigh just as much as a full-grown adult. The lion-like mane around the neck and chest is a dramatic characteristic of the male's coat. A well-built Leo moves with a fast, elastic gait, and despite being sweet, no one is a fool. Like most watchdogs and all-around workers, they show intellect and sound judgment. Leos need plenty of grooming, plenty of space to romp, and unconditional love. Originally from Germany, this giant breed requires a commitment to train and a high tolerance for confusion and mess. Unlike the previous breed, Leo doesn't mind being with its own kind and other breeds and animals including cats. But because of their large size, the children should never be left alone. This is a sensitive dog who dislikes hearing arguments from a family. Seriously, hold your disagreements in private, or he may attempt to interfere. Tasa Inu Known as the Japanese fighting dog, the Tosa Inu was made to be a huge dogfighting machine. Therefore, it should come as no surprise that animal violence is a severe problem. Therefore, we will advise you never have a Tosa with another same-sex dog. Well, come to think of it, we ask you not to bring another dog at all. The same applies for cats. Tosais can demonstrate aggressive behavior towards cats and little puppies. In short, any animal that runs. For a livestock farm, this isn't your type of dog to keep. A Tosa Inu shouldn't be violent towards human beings, although coupled with its tremendous strength, the stamina and agility of this breed means that it must be well trained, well socialized, bred, and always under control. It's often characterized as silent, calm, and relaxed until aroused. If you're interested in having such a breed, kindly have a sign on your entrance to warn us. The Irish Wolfhound 
Some interesting historical facts about the Irish wolfhound dog breed were that they were commonly used to pull people off horses and chariots. They often would hunt huge animals like deer, boar, and wolves. This isn't a bluff. Despite being able to run at great speeds, almost all of their actions around the house are in decidedly slow motion. Today, this adaptable dog is a family companion that also competes in obedience, tracking, and course lure. They are gentle, noble, tender, and easy, but they definitely aren't prospects for snap to it obedience. Though these are purebred dogs, some may still end up in shelter or rescue care. If this is the breed for you, consider adoption. On average, the Irish Wolfhound is the world's tallest dog breed, though many other breeds can exceed it. Scottish Deerhound The Scottish Deerhound is another breed with a very interesting background. They originally had the purpose of hunting and bringing down the Scottish roe deer. This is a magnificent beast twice or more the size of the dog. Today, they've adapted to a chill way of life that involves long walks, running escapades, regular meals, and a nice nap on a sofa. At first glance, this dog could be confused for the Irish Wolfhound, but the Scottish Deerhound is much slimmer and more refined, and its long, elegant head makes these traits particularly evident. While smaller than the Irish Wolfhound, the Scottish Deerhound is still a very large and particularly tall dog, as are most sighthounds. They're friendly towards strangers, but not gregarious. They're quite hopeless as a watchdog or protective dog. However, they require lots of exercise and petting attention. So if you're lazy or busy, no offense, but this isn't the dog for you. These deer hounds are notorious for lying on tough, cold, icy surfaces. The Caucasian Shepherd. This big dog is quite the specialist and was bred to do one thing and one thing only, to protect sheep from wolves and other predators that dared attack a shepherd's flock. However, even if these dogs are expert sheep bodyguards, they can and have been used to protect other livestock. The Caucasian Shepherd is extremely popular in Georgia, which has always been the place to go if you're looking for the purest of these breeds. Caucasian Shepherd dogs are strongly boned, extremely muscular, and when well-trained, quite even-tempered. Of course, this breed makes it to the list because of its enormous size. They are big enough to intimidate even the pack of wolves. Wolves, most of the time, will dare not to attack the flock they are guarding. On the downside, Caucasian Shepherds are very territorial and have been known to attack other strange dogs or even the same breed. Extreme caution should be exercised if you choose this breed for your family pet. St. Bernard Anyone remember the Beethoven movies? About a big happy dog who made life miserable for his owners? That formula may be common nowadays for dog movies, but Beethoven had probably the cutest and fuzziest mascot for its movie. Speaking of Beethoven, here's a breed who made that movie, the St. Bernard. St. Bernard was bred in the Swiss Alps for the purpose of rescuing people lost in the snowy mountains. With a total count of over 2,000 people, this breed is very effective at its job. Bernards can grow as tall as 36 inches and generally weigh in at 120 pounds. However, there is one dog named Benedictine who weighed an astonishing 366 pounds. While St. Bernards are still used for mountain rescue, St. Bernards can be a loving family member, gentle with children, and get along well with other pets. French Mastiff the French Mastiff dog, also called the Doge de Bordeaux, is peculiarly characterized by its huge head and muscular body. An adult French Mastiff can grow as large as between 20 and 23 inches in height and can get as heavy as 137 pounds. French Mastiffs usually have very tough skin and the wrinkles on their face and necks typically make them look like a dried up old prune. Although, if we're honest, many dogs look like dried up old prunes. We love them either way. The massive head is the most intriguing part of this breed. They have small eyes and broad nose and short drooping ears. French Mastiffs can make the best rescue dogs and watchdogs with the right training. With consistent training and socialization, these adorable fur babies make the best companions for families with kids. Anatolian Shepherd Dog 
The Anatolian Shepherd is a massive and robust breed of dog that is typically found in Turkey. They were originally developed and bred to protect livestock. This large breed can sometimes grow to be as heavy as 150 pounds and as tall as 26 to 31 inches. The Anatolian Shepherd dogs are known for their agility and endurance. These dogs have big and round-shaped heads. The color of their medium-sized eyes range from brown to light amber. Their neck is thick and powerful, a common characteristic for guard dogs. The triangular-shaped ears of Anatolian dogs can be 4 to 6 inches in length and droop down to the size of their faces. Anatolian Shepherd dogs are very kind, intelligent, faithful, and protective. They are very suspicious of strangers and tend to bark a lot when they feel threatened. This breed loves to play with children, but I wouldn't advise that. These dogs are much too big and powerful to take the chances on children. The Great Dane Another smaller breed, the Great Dane is actually regarded as the biggest dog breed by a lot. And while it isn't by any measure, it still easily earns this spot in our list today. Growing to a respectable weight of 120 pounds and growing up to 30 inches, this dog has origin roots in Germany, being bred for the sole purpose of boar hunting. This dog was easily powerful enough to hold a wild boar in place until its owner would come to finish the pig off. One notable Dane named Zeus had a weight of 155 pounds and did grow to a staggering 44 inches in length and, at standing height, topped nearly seven and a half feet. He even received a Guinness World Record in 2012 for his stature. Which one of these dogs would you like to own? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.